Monday marks a somber anniversary in the Texas A&M campus, 20 years since the tragic bonfire collapse that killed a dozen people. 27 others survived the collapse, and one of them is featured in a new documentary premiering in Houston tomorrow. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joins us live with more. Brandon. Yeah, well, Keith, the 12th man, as you may know, is a football reference, one steeped with tradition within Texas A&M's football program. Sadly, it also happens to be the number of people killed in that crash some 20 years ago. The 13th man, this movie's title, refers to what John Comstock almost became, the 13th victim. But as this film chronicles some 20 years later, he pulled through. We're back here. The bonfire is getting lit now out there because I love building it. Tradition, it's what drew John Comstock to help build it. A tower of timber known as the stack. For Aggies, a rite of passage. Because it was such hard work, I think that everybody that was out there was doing it because they loved it. True for many an Aggie, be they builder or one of the thousands who'd stand watch as it burned. For 90 years, Bonfire was a highlight of Thanksgiving week, leading up to the big A&M UT football game. Tradition, yet as it went, tradition took a turn. November 18th, 1999, 2.42 a.m. It just swayed a little bit, and then the whole structure just started to fall over. At 2.43 this morning, a rich and sacred Aggie tradition had fallen. For me, I couldn't feel my legs, so I wasn't sure if I was paralyzed. And then um, just really kind of hoping that they would get me out of there. Amid the collapsed lumber, lives. 39 injuries all told. In the hours that followed, 12 students died. John Comstock almost became the 13th. And they decided that the bone in my left leg was rotting from the inside out. And so they had to make the decision to amputate. The higher you went, the more dangerous it obviously became. John Comstock is the focus of a new documentary, The 13th Man honoring the 20th anniversary of the stack collapse. Any story fades over 20 years. Charlie Men is the film's creator. John's a living miracle. I mean, he should be an example to all of us. Uh, he should motivate and inspire us and make us look at our problems and see if that really is a problem. The 13th Man premieres at seven theaters across the Houston area. Go to our website tonight, click2houston.com. We've included a list of where you can catch it. Also a link to that film's website. We're live tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.